Hey YouTubers, Muskrat Jim here. Well lately there's been a lot of talk on YouTube about bushcraft toggles. Now bushcraft toggles are simple little sticks that are attached to cordage. And they can come in handy for a lot of different things around camp or around your pack or, or whatever. So anyway I thought I would add my two cents to this discussion. Now your toggle should be made out of green wood just so then it doesn't break in half when you apply pressure to the middle. Now this one is about 5 inches long. So, I don't know, 12 centimeters. What you can do is just shave off the bark on the ends just so then it doesn't fray. And then it'll look something like this. Now a lot of people will tell you to take your bushcraft knife and drill a hole down through the center just by twisting your knife around and around like this with some pressure on it so that it actually drills a hole part way through and then you can flip it over and do the same on the other side. Once you have your hole drilled through you can pass your cordage through that. Now no offense against those guys because they do have years and years of experience but if you pass a hole through the middle of your toggle you're weakening it there at that point, at that critical point. Now with the tracker, you've got a built-in notch maker. It's a quarter inch wide, so it's um, ideal for paracord. So that's what we're going to do. So we locate the center, about there, and then with a the sawing motion, You start to create a notch and then all you have to do is just rotate this as you're sawing back and forth and it'll make a notch about a quarter of an inch deep Now that notch will keep your paracord from slipping towards one of the ends without severely weakening this toggle. Now this isn't paracord, it's slightly larger, it's got a braided exterior and it's got a solid core so it's not as strong as paracord but it'll do the trick. Just tighten that right up. And you can see that the cordage sits right inside that groove. Now, depending on your application, so goes the length of your cordage. I'm going to make a hanger for my backpack just to uh, wrap around one of these trees here. So I'm only going to need a couple of feet, not quite a meter. Now I'm going to put my hanger right about there. I think that's a good height. I'm just going to pass this underneath here and back a little bit. So then I have an idea of how long to cut my cord. Right about there should be good. What I'm going to do here is I'm just going to push back the braid to expose the core. I'm going to cut part of that core off. Not that much. So 
So we'll just twist the ends of the nylon sheathing to make kind of a point. And then we'll take a trusty Bic lighter. And we'll just fuse the ends of it. Just like that. Just so it doesn't fray. Yeah, so what you have is your toggle tied at one end, and then you've got your other end right here. So what we want to do is just make a loop at this end, and you can use a non-slipping loop, like a bowline, or just an overhand knot is fine. Just going to do an overhand knot because it's quick. Nice and snug. Now what you do is you wrap this around the tree and you pass the toggle through the loop that you've created and it just hangs there. And then you can hang your pack on that. It around the tree, pass the toggle through the loop, and there you go. And you just pass the toggle through a loop on your pack, and there you go. Everything's off the ground, ants won't get into your pack. And everything's great. Now the toggle and loop, you can use that to quickly attach uh, a ridge line, or you could use it to attach a blanket roll to a backpack. There's a lot of different applications. But there's my take on it. You don't have to drill a hole. All you need is a notch. So until next time, this is Muskrat Jim, signing out. For more Muskrat survival videos, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And remember to click the bell to receive notifications of newly uploaded videos on this channel.